Welcome back to Morning Markets on Friday the 19th of May. Yesterday, stock markets were positive in the US, the UK and across Europe, whilst bond markets were down with yields moving higher, diversification in action. In today's Morning Markets, we'll cut through some of the key economic data points from the US of yesterday and some of the statements from central bankers. In terms of economic data, yesterday we received an update on the sales of existing homes in the US from the National Association of Retailers. And that demonstrated that over the month of April, sales of existing homes were down 3.4%. We also saw the number of houses on the market rise by 7.2%. So given this cooling of the demand and supply imbalance, which we've really seen since the the, the easing of COVID-19 restrictions in 2021, house prices have eased by 1.7% over the course of the year on to an average level of 388,000. That's still elevated if we compare that to pre-COVID, the average house price was around $270,000. The rise in house prices is a positive for consumers who own their own home. If they've got equity within there, they've got more confidence to get out there and spend. And when you couple that with low levels of unemployment, current unemployment levels in the States at 3.4% and data in terms of initial claims demonstrating yesterday that there's very little easing in terms of the employment market. It gives consumers that ability to get out there and spend. And the Federal Reserve are very aware of this and have employed a number of actions in order to curtail spending and consumer demand to bring inflation towards the 2% target. Essentially what we're seeing at this point is the lagged effects of those policies. We've seen 4.75% worth of interest rate hikes over the last 14 months to bring inflation down and we're starting to see some initial signs of this. However, yesterday we received some updates from the hawks within the Federal Reserve. These include Jamie Bullard, who's often a contrarian within the committee. He's of the view that um, more hikes might be required to bring inflation under control. We also heard from the Dallas Fed president, Laurie Logan. They noted that the data doesn't justify pausing just yet. However, on the other side, some of the speakers were more accustomed to the idea of the Fed pausing for now to see the full wash through of the four and three quarter percent interest rate hikes, which we've seen come through. So for this reason, Bond yields moved higher, which was negative for returns on the day. But later today, we're going to hear from the Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell, where markets will be closely watching for the language which is used around the future pathway of policy. If we look at markets today, they're currently expecting the Federal Reserve to pause at the current levels of around 5% and then start to commence an easing of interest rates into the back end of this year. That's an argument which the Federal Reserve are pushing back on at this point in time. US equity markets supported yesterday by the strength in consumers and their earnings, which we continue to see. Over the weekend, we're going to be observing any developments regarding the US debt ceiling, and we'll keep you updated on those developments on morning markets here on Monday morning. Thank you for watching.